And normally mommies have answers, you know. You know, or have a band-aid to put on a boo-boo. <laughs> like, we're the ones that normally handle that. And not knowing where he's at, if he's okay, if he's cold, if he doesn't have food. It's like, that's a mom's role. And I, I can't get to him, and you kind of feel like a failure when you can't. And like I said, three, four weeks, I'm farthest I've gone talking to him, not talking to him, is three days. And thank goodness for this. Because I hear his voice. You play with him? Yeah. <laughs> I have another sister. <laughs> so I'm just begging. I would do anything for my baby to come home. I need him. I need awareness. I want it everywhere. I made a post on Facebook today. It was just, please don't let this, you know, go away. Please keep sharing and posting because it only takes one day, one post to reach to somebody that it has it and that could be bringing Gannon home. So, so please, anything you know, let us know. Let the, the sheriff's office know. Let somebody know because this is getting hard. It's getting extremely hard. And I just need him. Send my baby home. Today, investigators are back at the home of a missing 11-year-old boy. They have been spotted here several times since late January, wearing gloves and carrying items to and from the Metro Crime Lab. We are making progress, and that is as specific as we can be in this investigation at this point in time. Gannon Stalk was reported missing on January 27th by his stepmother. I would never, never, ever hurt this child. Tasha Stauk did her first interview with 11 News reporter Spencer Wilson. Wait until the end and see what happens. The 11-year-old was initially reported as a runaway. Three days after he vanished, the case was upgraded to a missing endangered child. I'm begging, bring my baby home. Few clues have been revealed about his disappearance. Investigators suspended their search in southern Douglas County, 40 miles north of his home. Was anything found? That would be part of our investigation. The FBI is involved along with the district attorney. This is part of the task force. It's pretty routine. The sheriff's office maintains their investigation is not criminal at this point. When the time comes and we can elaborate a little bit more or even a lot more, we will. People ask, like, how do you stay strong? Because my boy's strong. I got survival in me, and I can't give up. The day Gannon Stalk was born, doctors told his parents he had a 10% chance of survival. The first two months, I didn't get to hold him. Every day was a battle to get to her baby. To hold my baby for the first time, it's, it's, that's what I want to do right now, is hold my baby. <laughs> 11 years later, she's fighting to hold him again. It's been 26 days since 11-year-old Gannon Stauk disappeared from his home. Today, a blue ribbon where investigators suspended the search for Gannon in an area they were just digging and sifting through in South Douglas County. To not see anything sometimes, it just kind of, I mean, Gannon wouldn't give up, you know? He didn't give up. And it's not having answers and expecting to wake up, hoping. It gets tough. I have another <laughs> Gannon's voice and a stuffed animal a neighbor made for his little sisters. He has two sisters, one eight years old, another 18 months. He adores them and they miss him. Albert asked, he was like, what do you think about Bubba? And she pointed outside and she said, he's alive. So that's what she's holding on to. A family fighting every day with nothing but faith. Because this is getting hard. It's getting extremely hard, and I just need him. 
send my baby home. Bubba, if you see this, mommy wants you home. I know that you want to be home. And I would do anything in this world to make sure that I can get to you. You're my hero. You're my baby. I'm here. I'm waiting for you. And I want you to come home so bad.